Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Nathias Monzel, and this is the New Gaming Studios Smite Zeus Guide. Uh, to start the video off, I'm going to just sit back and kind of let you see what you can expect from team fighting with Zeus. As you can probably tell from that little bit of footage, Zeus is in ability power or magic power uh, carry. He excels at team fighting and AoE damage, and his kit is put together very nicely and it flows together very well. Uh, his one ability is Chain Lightning. It's going to hit an enemy, bounce off that enemy to up to two additional enemies, and each enemy hit is going to apply a charge. And we're going to get to what charge is in just a second. Uh, if there are only two enemies present, it will bounce between them three times. So it's going to hit one twice and the other once. And it will apply two charges to the first one and one charge to the second one. Your two ability is a shield. The shield gives you protection, bonus movement speed, and any auto attacks done to you while the shield is up will reflect some of the damage back to the attacker and apply a charge as well. Uh, your three ability is detonate charge. And now that we're at Detonate Charge, we're going to go ahead and talk about what the charges are. Uh, whenever you land an auto attack or an ability, uh, it applies a charge. And you can see the charge right there on Zeus, rolling around him, the enemy Zeus. And Detonate Charge is actually what picks up that kill right there. Now, uh, like I said, when you land an attack or an ability on an enemy, it applies a charge. The enemy can have a maximum of three charges on them at one time. Activating Detonate Charge consumes all the charges around you and deals damage to each enemy based on the number of charges on that individual enemy. Uh, detonate Charge is what I max first because it's really consistent damage and it's a little bit of unpredictable damage for the enemy to try and deal with. They don't know when you're going to use it so they have a hard time adjusting with things like Aegis Amulet or popping potions or whatever they can to defend against it. And by the same token, it's very easy to predict when they're going to try and do that and save it for just a second or cast it a second earlier. Your ultimate is a medium-sized AoE that calls down a series of lightning bolts. I can see Odin ults there. I'm just staying in the back, uh, trying to stay at max auto attack range, and trying to get as many charges on as many people as I can. There's our ultimate. Hits two or three people, get the chain lightning off, and then detonate charge. And that's what you want to do on Zeus. That's that's preferred combo right there. Uh, you see, Wukong starts to get close to me. I pop my shield, back off. Once I see that he's on someone else, I move back in. I apply two charges. Detonate charge finishes it off. Zeus does not have much crowd control. Uh, and his only innate escape mechanism is the shield and the bonus movement speed from the shield. So, for the active items... I like to get Sprint to just increase your movement speed for a short period, help you get out of some sticky situations. And the Beads of Purification. Uh, what the Purification Beads do is when they're activated, it breaks any crowd control effects that are on you, and it then prevents any crowd control effects from being applied to you for a few seconds. And for a carry, that's just absolutely beautiful. As you can see there, I get a few charges around. I really thought that detonate charge was going to kill that guy. Um, I don't know if he got out of range of it, if he somehow got really tanky that I wasn't expecting. I thought that was a kill for sure and it didn't get it. But we do pick that up, help get the assist there. Uh, for those of you who are new to Smite, this is called Arena, this game type. And Smite is unique amongst other MOBAs in the fact that it does have multiple game types and that's really a really appealing thing for me about Smite is that it keeps its entertainment value for much longer uh, for play sessions 
because you can't switch between different game types, and they're very different, and different champions work differently on them, and it's very fun to experiment with. Uh, like I said, this one is called Arena, and as you can see, it is set in an arena. Uh, there's four pillars in the middle, and uh, you're going to see later in the video, we're going to use those four pillars to our advantage to try and get away from some people and some, create some line of sight. Uh, to the left and right, there are jungle camps that provide buffs if you kill them. And the way you score points, you guys see on the right side of the screen, right under the mini-map, there's a counter. Uh, when the game starts, you're going to start at 500. The way you score points is by killing enemy champions, killing enemy minions, and taking your minions all the way across to that glowing green portal you can see off in the distance. Any minions that are alive that get through that portal will score you some more points. Or rather, it will tick off your opponent's points. The first team to reach zero loses. In Arena, you do start at level 3 and have, I believe, 1500 gold, but I'm not positive about that. And as long as we're talking about gold, we'll go ahead and get into the items we have so far. With Zeus, I like to start with stage 2 of the Magi Boots and 2 potions. Uh, again, for those of you who are new to Smite, uh, another thing that's a little bit unique about it, uh, as far as most MOBA games go, is that you don't build smaller items uh, and then combine them into larger items like recipes. Instead, you can see there, each item can level up twice for three stages of each item. Upon reaching the third stage, you gain uh, an additional passive benefit from that item. Uh, the Boots of the Magi give you magic penetration and the move speed increases each time you level it up as well as the magic power it gives you. And the item we started with, because we got this uh, two quick kills early, is Rod of Tahuti. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, as I'm sure I will several things in this video, I apologize. A lot of it I've only seen written down before. But it's the the most powerful magic item in the game. Um, it doesn't really have any utility besides just increasing our damage, but it does that extremely well. And as you can see there, we wait until two enemies are close together to get that chain lightning if we can. And that applied the charge to both of them, and then detonate charge finishes that off really quick. It's a nice quick double kill. There's a third kill for us. We just get the charges, get the detonate charge off. And we're going to just pop our shield and get out of there. There's no need to stay around me that low. There's no team fight going on, no one to save. Just back out, spend our gold, get our health back, so we get uh, stage 3 of the rod. <clears throat> and what the Gem of Isolation is going to do, which we're actually going to skip for now, but when we come back to it, the Gem of Isolation, whenever you hit an enemy with an ability, it slows that enemy for a few seconds. And as you can see on Zeus, with Detonate Charge, Chain Lightning, our ultimate, we have a lot of abilities that are going to be hitting a lot of people, so that slow is going to be put to great use with us. What we did pick up is Cronus's Pendant, and that's going to give us uh, magic power, a little bit of mana per 5, and some cooldown reduction. And Zeus does have very nice base mana pool, uh, so he has a lot of mana to work with, fairly low cooldowns. So getting that cooldown reduction on you is really going to help you get a little bit more spammy, get some more charges out. Uh, as you can see there, I didn't think Wukong would come that far in on us. I didn't think he'd really dive that turret, but uh, he picks up the kill. That's alright. Um, our team is fairly far ahead. We're doing pretty well. I don't know the actual score at this point, but we're definitely positive. We'll stay that way for the entirety of the video. And to really optimize your damage on Zeus, uh, you want to apply three charges, cast detonate charge, and then apply more charges. What I mean by that is... If you, say, you chain lightning and then auto attack twice, you have three charges on that target. If you auto attack a third time, that last charge is going to kind of go to waste because they can only have three on them at a time. So casting a detonate charge and then auto attacking again will really increase your damage output because when that second detonate charge comes off cooldown, there's going to be more charges left on that target now. Um, and you see where Zeus is really going to excel the team comps he's going to excel in are these AoE team comps that are really going to layer their AoE over top of Zeus's. Uh, especially if you can get champions like Ares or Hades. Uh, those two specifically are going to give you really nice AoE crowd control. And we have the Ymir on our team, and his AoE freeze is beautiful. But if you can get those kind of champions, let them cast their CC, and then you drop your ultimate and chain lightning over it, 
and the enemy is guaranteed to pick up a lot of charges and a lot of damage from not being able to leave your ultimate. Or, worst case scenario, you force them to pop their purification beads so that you can come in with a second cooldown, or, uh, second crowd control. You see, the team we have here is fairly well uh, enabled to help Zeus in that manner. Uh, Wukong has got the AoE fear on his ultimate. Zablonk has the... It's not really an AoE, but it stuns every individual member of the enemy team, so it's really helpful. Mir's got the AoE freeze... And then, if you've played League of Legends, uh, his ultimate is very similar to Nunu's Absolute Zero. It's just a huge AoE burst damage. Um, and layering that over top of ours is very nice. You can see our team right there just picking up the kills everywhere. Five enemies dead, uh, four assists for us. And that's really what we like to see out of a team fight. And uh, Agni, let's not forget him. Uh, his ultimate can combine some of his other abilities to do some really nice AoE burst on top of an AoE stun. Uh, you see right there, that's uh, Wukong's ultimate that just speared us, and then Zablonk casts his. And when I see Zablonk starting to cast his, I wait until about a second before his stun lands on everyone to place my ultimate, so I get the maximum uptime on them being inside my ultimate. And we're able to pick up the triple kill because of what I just said there. They have maximum uptime staying inside that ultimate. And then able to land the chain lightning because I know where they're stunned. And after that, the detonate charge just does the rest of the work. I uh, couldn't pick up that fourth kill, but that's fine. We're more than happy with the triple kill. Uh, blow a few activated items I didn't need to blow there just to be safe. Here's the Gem of Isolation. We're going to start working up to that. We've got the cooldown reduction from Cronus's Pendant. Everything's going pretty nice at this point. Zeus is a really fun champion to play. Um, I guess I should go ahead and say uh, I'm fairly new to Smite myself. I'm only level 12, 13. Zeus is actually only the second champion that I've actually bought. In. But uh, so far, I just absolutely love him. And some of what I'm saying, the the specifics of the item build, specifics of how you're leveling up your abilities, that kind of thing, it honestly might be uh, not the most efficient way to do it. Um, maybe. When I get higher level, I'll see the folly of my ways and all that. But for the time being, it's working well. I can only tell you what I've experienced myself. Um, if, when I hit higher level, I find better ways to do these things, I will come back for any videos we do, and I will redo them at that time. But at this time, I tell you, the information is good information. As you can see, it's served me well so far. And here's where those pillars come into play that we were talking about. Odin is on us. So instead of just running one way, we cut back the other way. We're going to come around this pillar. That's going to slow him down a little bit. We're going to cut a little bit of line of sight. And instead of going the shortest route to our base, I'm kind of tunnel visualing in the middle of my screen here, so I'm not looking at the mini-map. So if they had a range behind me, that range is going to try and anticipate where I'm going to move and throw his auto attack or his ability in front of me. Uh, the most logical way for you to move in that scenario is the shortest route to safety. So knowing that, I intentionally start that way and then cut off to the other side of the base just in the hopes that I maybe miss one or two auto attacks or one ability and that that provides me enough health left to get out of that situation alive. Now, as you can see, uh, Zablonk picks up a nice quadra kill there. We're able to use the detonate charge to take out that Wukong. And uh, right there I missed the, the chain lightning which probably would have saved him. So that sucks, but uh, here we're going to see making the best of a bad situation. I'm I'm caught. I'm dead to all right. So I lay my ultimate in a manner that they're going to have to run through it to get to me. So instead of just trying to place it straight on them, I place it in front of me. I run through the ultimate, and that makes them come through, pick up a lot of charges. I land the chain lightning and then the detonate charge. They both had three on them. Uh, I was able to pick up a kill. Either Ymir or Agni picked up the other kill, I'm not sure. But what could have very easily been them getting a kill on me for nothing in return turns into us picking up two kills and me dying. And as the carry, I'd prefer not to die. That was a little bit silly. I got overextended. But we made the best of the situation that we could. We are able to do the best thing for our team that we could. And that's all that we can hope for. Uh, here we see another Odin ult. Um... Just trying to find someone that I can get some damage out on. I see Zablok's ult go off. So I wait for his stun to hit. Get the chain lightning so I can make sure it doesn't miss. Thankfully two people were next to each other when that went off. So the chain lightning was able to bounce. 
were able to pick up the assist on the second person that uh, Zapalong picked up. That guy gets away, but at this point, it's 248-60. to 60. This game, we're really in no danger whatsoever of losing this game. Uh, and as you can see, it's really, when Zeus gets ahead, he gets really far ahead. He has really high base damage, he scales pretty well. And when you get fed on Zeus, you just get so much damage. There you can see Guan Yu actually applying a few charges to himself from hitting us while our shield's up. And, you know, anything that gets charged on the enemy is a beautiful thing for us. Uh, Ultimate's only able to catch two people there, but we do get the kill. Don't remember to pick that guy up, I don't think so, I think he gets away. But that's fine, that's fine, we saved, you know. Uh, at this point, we're really just trying to end the game. And I'm gonna get caught out here and die. Uh, I popped my, my sprint and my purification beads, but Guan used a little too fast for me. But at that stage in the game, it's better to use the ultimate, pick up the kill, and ask one less person to defend their base. Uh, when you're this far ahead. That way we can get the rest of those minions into that gate, score some more points, and try and close this thing out. Uh, the obsidian shard there is just magic power and magic penetration. And the polynomicon. This one I haven't really had a chance to do much testing with on Zeus, but uh, the theory of it seems very appeasing to me. Whenever you cast an ability, it charges your auto attack, and your next auto attack after casting abilities deals more damage. And you can see Zeus auto attacks a good bit to apply some extra charges in between his abilities, so I really think that item's gonna work out well on him. Uh, we're gonna finish off the game here. But, uh, this has been Zeus. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. If there's any specific gods that you want to see a video of, just, uh, post it in the comments below. I'll get to that god as fast as I can, and we'll try and get out more stuff for you very soon. Uh, that's been everything we have for today. Just going to let you go to the closing screen, and we'll see you guys very soon.